autumn grove is what it looks like and it's inspired by a piece of work by karen tarleton um it's really cute and it's it's really easy um i had a lot of fun doing the first one that i tried so i'm excited to show you guys um but with the background i was just going to start with a really really light blue and so the only thing that you need is white and blue and i have like you can see how much blue i have with the white um it's just a tiny tiny bit compared to how much white i have and so you'll just like mix it until it's got a nice little blue tint to it. I want this guy pretty light since um, the, tr the leaves on the trees are really bright and really vibrant. Like I don't, I don't want the colors to clash that much, if you know what I mean. So um, we'll start with the really, really light blue. And if you have a water cup, you can kind of thin it out, um, thin out the paint with the water. Um, just kind of dip your paintbrush in there a little bit and then, then the, the paint will spread on the paper really, really easily. So we'll just kind of put it on there. I'm not sure if you guys can see <laughs> the blue paint um, kind of getting on there, but it's a little bit darker than the than the white paper. So yeah, and just a nice little layer. Shelby, I might just add real quick, if you're not seeing Shelby like really big on your screen, up mm -hmm. in the top right corner, there's a speaker view button. And if you click the speaker view, she'll come up big on your screen. And um, then you don't have to look at everyone's little boxes. You can see she'll be really big on your screen. Perfect. No, I wasn't sure about that. That's perfect. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll get a little bit more water. Mix a little bit more blue with the white. There we go. Just like that. And the really nice thing about acrylic paint is that it dries much quicker um, than other paints do. And so once, once we get this layer on and we start working on the ground, um, this layer will be dry by the time we're done with the ground. So then we can add more to the top of it. And, you know, it doesn't take a day for the paint to dry like it does with other ones. So that's really handy. But yeah, so I'm just using a big flat paintbrush for this that kind of smooths it out and gets it on the paper much easier than other kinds of brushes. Um, but yeah, so I think that we are um, mostly done with this background here. I'm just kind of getting the rest of this paper all filled out. Perfect. And then you can swish your brush in the water. <laughs> and then, um, before you set it down, you can um, take a paper towel and then just kind of wipe it on here. And that'll keep your brushes nice while you're using them. And then, so for the ground, you can see under here, I've got green, yellow, red, and blue. Um, and this doesn't have to be complicated or any specific way, like just paint the way that, you know, makes you happy. And um, so you can take some green and it's more fun if you kind of let the colors mix a little bit. So what I've been doing is I've just been kind of taking some green, you know, and then some yellow, kind of make it a little lighter. And I'm kind of just going along the ground where the, where the horizon would start. And I'm going down and um, just adding little splotches of color wherever I want it to go. So I've got a little red here and a little red here. And you can put it wherever you want. Um, I plan to have the um, path in mind. You can put your path wherever you like, but the, my path is just gonna be right in the middle. So it'll be kind of like this. You can kind of see the way I'm gonna set it up. And I'm gonna have the path be like more blue and green. And so we'll just keep adding colors, mixing colors until it feels right.
I hope everyone's having a good Wednesday. <laughs> it snowed last night for me. I live in Maryville, Missouri, um, and I was not expecting it, but if you live in Missouri, you know that it doesn't usually last long and it changes every single day. So all of the snow has melted already. <laughs> and it's actually pretty nice outside now. It's been crazy. Um, I live in Maryville because I go to Northwest Missouri State University and I'm actually a painting major. So <laughs> I'm kind of doing exactly what I always do, except you guys get to be here for it. <laughs> I don't know what your setup is like today, Shelby, but maybe if we have time when we're done, we could see a couple of your <laughs> previous works. Oh, yeah, yeah, for definitely. Fun. Yeah, that would be really fun. Get, get you a little setup of what I usually do. I usually don't get to paint um, paintings that are so like, oh, you know, fun splotches and cool colors, you know, just wherever you want it to be. My paintings are usually really meticulous and they take forever to do. And so, um, I don't know, this is really fun and I'm really glad I get to do it with you guys. But yeah. I'm just glad to have you here. Thank you. We haven't had a, a painting class yet. And I think everybody's oh, really? probably missed it a little bit. Yeah. I'm the first. Yeah. That's crazy. Just to do them. And will again in the communities pretty often as group things, but mm -hmm. we haven't had our Bob Ross moment before now. Hey, <laughs> that's perfect. Maybe next time we can do like a, an actual Bob Ross painting. <laughs> that would be awesome. Does that mean you would, you want to come back? Ooh, I guess if I'm invited. Well, we'll see how this goes. We'll see. Yeah. After we'll see if everybody they likes you. <laughs> if, they, if they tell me to get out with their pitchforks and torches, you know, <laughs> then I guess I won't come back. But hopefully that won't happen. I mean, I don't see any pitchforks. I don't see any either. It doesn't seem too threatening. All right, I think I want some more yellow. So I'm gonna just grab my yellow. I'm just using these apple barrel paints. They're cheap, they're acrylic. They have worked for everything I've tried to do. Um, I usually use oil paints with the paintings that I make at school, but um, acrylics are just a, a great, a great paint to use for anything. And you can kind of see that I'm applying paint in like a horizontal motion because um, I want the ground to seem flat, like the leaves are laying on the ground and like, you know, like the shadows are like laying across the grass. I don't really want anything to be vertical yet because um, the, the trunks of the trees will be vertical and I kind of want that to be the only um, thing that's really like bringing your eyes up, if, if you know what I mean. So th this is a fun thing to look at from side to side because it seems like it's shimmying down um, with the more horizontal lines, but later on we'll add more vertical lines and it will be a nice contrast. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I really like the yellow in here. And then eventually we'll also be adding um, some blacks for shadows and um, some extra colors if you think that it needs some more. Like I think a, a nice purple would be cool because um, you, see, you do see more purples in autumn than you do during the rest. I guess spring has a lot of purple from flowers, but... Um, the leaves get like this dark, like mauve color in, in the autumn and I love it. So I might add a little bit of purple later on too. All but yeah, so I think this ground is looking pretty good. So now we are going to start um, working on 
the leaves in the sky. So we're gonna have these trees coming all the way past the top of the page, like they're just beautiful tall maple trees, you know what I mean? So we're going, but we're gonna keep using this like medium sized paintbrush, just something for blotting and everything. So I'm gonna swish it around so that I can, so that I don't have any mixed up colors. Because the top trees, I'm gonna have a yellow one on the left and a red one on the right. Um, but you can have whatever trees you want to have in your park. Um, and that is just fine with me. Dry it off just a little bit. And then I'm going to, so like my yellow and my red are kind of mixed up with my other colors now. So I'm going to just drizzle them in this, in this separate container. So I'm going to start with the yellow. And I'm just going to blot this thing. It's just going to get covered in little spots. And it might seem kind of monotonous and pointless to just the whole time. But at the end, you can really see the amount of work that you put into the painting. And um, each block counts. <laughs> At least that's how I feel. <laughs> if you feel differently, you should say something because <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> but yeah, so I've just got some random, I think I want a little bit of orangeness in there. So I'm going to take my red. I don't need to mix it in my thing. I'll just kind of add it in just wherever. Mix it up because it'll get blended from your paintbrush while you're working on it. It doesn't dry that fast. <laughs> but the blue in the background should be mostly dry by now so that it won't s just splish around with your yellows, but <laughs> I guess it depends on the paint you're using. Perfect. So I'm going to add a little bit of extra stragglers, kind of like branches coming out that way, really filling out everything. Um, but leaving a little bit of room for the sky to peek through because that's very natural with trees we see in real life. So we've got a little bit of stragglers down here. We've got some extra just kind of hanging off. I might add a little more red um, just in the shadows. You know, it's funny because when I was first painting in um, middle school and high school and I was figuring out what I kind of wanted to do, when you shade things, you think you would normally use black or brown or something to make it darker. But in, when I got to college, all of my professors were like, no, you don't shade with black or anything like that. You're not even supposed to use black. You have to mix all of the colors and you have to use like, um, just like color science and like combining just to, um, I don't know, make it look more natural. I still don't understand it, but I follow the rules, so <laughs> I guess I'm doing it right. But I guess that's just up to you. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna go to the red tree and do the same thing. It's really relaxing, actually.
And I'm gonna have a few branches coming off. Definitely add some more leaves. Okay, I think we are getting there. I might add a little bit of yellow on this side as well. Give it a little bit of depth. Kind of makes it look like some of the trees are poking out into the sunshine. <laughs> And so if you want to add darker parts to the red, but you don't want to use brown or black, you can use green because green is red's um, complementary color. So if you add just a little bit of green, get a little bit more red, kind of mix it in there. Kind of just looks a little bit darker. It doesn't really end up looking like green anymore. And so we've got some dark spots and some light spots and we've got, but you still know that it's a, it's a red tree because <laughs> there's a lot of red. <laughs> but yeah, so I think we're looking good with those leaves. So we're gonna let those dry before we do the trunks completely. So we're gonna go back to the ground and we'll, um, <laughs> we'll use black this time <laughs> because I just want some black lines in here. So I'm just gonna get a pretty little bit. You don't need that much. And then so I plan on having a trunk maybe about right here for the main one, and then maybe about right here for this main one, and then there will be some behind it. Um, but so I know kind of where the trees are gonna go. So I'm just gonna start making some black lines in the grass, just like we were earlier. Um, just kind of where I think the trees will be, just a little bit. You don't wanna make it too dark so that it's a scary forest, <laughs> but just a little bit of shading goes a long way. So we'll just add a little bit there. And even if it's not where a tree is, maybe there's a branch hanging above it. No one can tell you it's wrong. That's the great thing about art. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get just a little bit more blue. Hmm. Well, it looks like I got more yellow than I got blue. Let me grab some more. A little bit more blue. I'm just going to kind of outline the trail that I was thinking. Make it a little bit more prominent. It's like this is where I'm walking. This is my trail. And 
And then I'm gonna get some white. Because if you've got the blacks, you might as well get the whites in there. Kind of makes the grass and the leaves look a little wet, like it rained the night before or something. Kind of fun. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna clean off our brush. Dry that off a little bit. Oh, we don't want that big one. So now I've got this little brush. It's not that little. It's not like a super tiny brush, but it's thinner than the ones that I was using. And um, we're gonna go back to our black. And you want to make sure that the paint on your brush isn't like really thick and clumpy and that it's just kind of thin and small and it's got enough paint in there to, to draw a solid black line, right? And so what we'll do is we'll kind of um, start where you want the trunk to be. And so we can start down here and come up and it doesn't have to be a straight line because Trees aren't straight lines. They're curvy and twisty and everywhere. And so we'll just kind of skip around and kind of go up here. And then you'll just want to thicken the line at the base a little bit more. You can just draw some extra lines to make it thicker. And then just kind of blend it into the thinner line, if that makes sense. So it'll just thicker at the bottom and thinner at the top. <laughs> and then we'll do a little branch like that. Kind of let it skip around like the, like the leaves are covering it. And then later on, we'll go back and um, add some extra leaves like on top so that it looks like the leaves are kind of layering over it and there's leaves all around, not just in front or behind. And then, Yep, just adding your branches wherever you want them to go. Perfect. And then we can, you can just do that to the other side. And I'm just gonna let mine go straight off the page. So we'll I'm just basically repeating my line here at the bottom near the near the grass and stuff, repeating it and just making it thicker and thicker. And then it becomes thinner and thinner the higher you get. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't have to have any straight edges. It just it's just a regular old tree and they are whatever you want them to look like. <laughs> That's the best part about painting nature too, is that you can't tell me that it's wrong. You can't say, hey, that tree doesn't look like a tree. It's like, I've seen some pretty crazy trees out there. And we can have one kind of branching off like that. Perfect. And then we can just add some extra little trees back here with your black, just like we were before, but maybe just a little bit thinner so that it looks like they're kind of going off into the background. And the, the higher up on the ground, the base of the tree is, kind of indicates how much farther away the tree is as well. 
So if you want this tree to be even closer, then you just bring down the base. So you'll just paint down here, and now it looks even closer. Perfect. And then these ones can stay farther up. Move them around a little bit. You can add as many trees as you want. And if you want to add like another orange tree back here, you can just add that orange and then put the stems. In. It's really awesome. It's you can just add out however much you want to or keep it as simple as you like. And now I'm going to take I'm going to so I'm going to hold the paintbrush really far back. I'm going to hold it like this and I'm just barely going to touch the paper as I go up and that'll create really thin lines. I'll kind of make some branches and some little trees back here. And I'll add some extra leaves later so that they don't look like dead trees in the background. <laughs> All right, this is shaping up to look like a real park. Okay, so we'll rinse our brush off. Oh, drop my paper towel. There it is. I'm going to get my little blotting brush back and then I'm going to grab my yellow and I'm just going to kind of go back over, go back over where I um, had the tree bark skip um, so that it kind of gives off the illusion. You can kind of see through the yellow so it, you can see that the branches behind the leaves that you're putting down um, kind of gives off the illusion that the leaves are wrapping all the way around the tree. So you'll just kind of go over the spots that you're not so sure about. <laughs> Makes it really easy, very forgiving. <laughs> you don't have to be good at painting or good at art to have a good painting or have good art. <laughs> I guess that doesn't really make sense, but it makes sense to me. <laughs> you can do whatever you want <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Anytime I tell someone that I'm a painting major or that I um, do art um, all the time, you know, a lot of people will come to me and say, oh, I can't even draw a stick figure. I can't, I can't do anything artistic. And, you know, that's just crazy to me. I think a lot of people can do a lot more than they think they can, um, but it definitely just takes a lot of practice. Um, And starting with something easy like this is a is a great place to start. So I'm kind of going back over the little trees back here. Maybe I want a yellow one back here. Cool. So now I'm doing my red. Go back over my red just like we just did with the yellow. And get the branches to meet up a little bit. Get some reds. Maybe I want this one to be red. Add a few extra blotches around the stems of these guys.
And then you can just kind of tweak it however you like. You can add some more yellow down here. You can add any color you want. <laughs> um, and then the rest is just kind of up to you how you want um, however much of each color you're kind of thinking because color kind of also determines, determines the mood. So if you wanted to add more blues and make um, a lot of like dark blues, it might make it seem more of like a, a sad or somber um, or, or I guess even calming um, environment instead of like a, a, a warm autumn one. So it kind of depends on what you're going for and you want to when you want to decide the colors that you're putting in there. Um, I have this really bright um, Bimini blue, I think is what it's called. Yeah, I really like it. It's kind of tropical looking to me. It's like, um, kind of reminds me of like a blue fruit punch, you know. And we're getting pretty close to the end and you can just kind of keep um, adding different colors in the trees and and the more that you add the more just it's just going to look better and better So I've got like a little bit of blue and some red and yellow all mixed up in my brush. I haven't <laughs> switched it off in a little while. If you don't want all of the kind of muddy colors mixing together, then you can just keep swishing it off and then redrying it after each um, color. But I don't really mind it getting the, the greens and the blues up in the trees. Um, it's kind of interesting. It kind of adds a layer of of random colors and makes you look at it a little closer, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm just adding a little extra shadows up here. So I'm just kind of dunking it in a tiny bit of red with some yellow. Maybe a little bit of blue in there too. <laughs> it's a little messy. <laughs> And I added a little um, layer of yellow to the back, um, right on top of the horizon line back here. Um, kind of makes it a little bit glowy, like it, like it's the evening um, and the sun is low and bright. I, that, that can happen at the same time, right? <laughs> it's nature, anything can happen. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, the rest is up to you. You can add some little rocks if you want. Um, I, I didn't try this. I'm going to rinse off my brush really quick. I um, didn't try this with my first one, but I was kind of interested to see what it would look like if we um, took our small brush again. Um, and dunked it in the white. So I've still got some white over here. I was wondering if it would look all right if we kind of just outlined the side of one with some white. And you can kind of skip around with that and make it kind of choppy, like bark. Like whenever I kind of, when it runs out of the paint in my brush and it gets a little bit choppy. Kind of looks like, see like that with the, <laughs> kind of looks like chalk on a chalkboard. 
That's kind of fun if you're interested. Grab my black. I think I like it more if it's all on the same side. So I'm just gonna cover up. Cover up my mistakes. <laughs> or I guess my trials. I Happy knew. little accidents. Happy little accidents, exactly. <laughs> I should have had that hanging up or something. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I think mine is about done. Um, your guys' is, is up to you. You can make it look however you want. You can add as many colors as you want. Um, but yeah, this is what I have. Anyone and who's been painting along got anything they want to show? Yeah. I want to see if you guys have done anything. Created. If you just wanted to come sit and watch me paint, that is cool too. <laughs> you didn't have to make something. <laughs> but I would love to see it if you did. I understand Kayla regrets her choice to not pull out painting supplies for this. <laughs> mm -hmm, I do. She, now that she's witnessed it. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, look at Jen's. Where is she? Oh, where, where? Good Here. work. Jen, come off mute and say something about it. <laughs> I can't see anything. Just she? Me? Totally did. Well, uh, I haven't painted. Whoa. Five? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, that is amazing. Yeah, well, you know, I had a great teacher. And oh, thank you. Yep, so my <laughs> husband set up a little station for me and, and said, please stop bothering me. And I said, oh, <laughs> and so I did it. Here we are. That looks great. I think that's the maybe one of the first paintings I've ever seen you do. It's definitely the first one you've ever seen me do. Wow. Yeah. I'm so proud. Like I said. <laughs> Thanks for following along. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I love it. Does anyone, anyone else, else want to show theirs? Oh, sorry, Shannon. We were on the same page. <laughs> no one? Did everyone enjoy it? Yeah, but we might be working on it still. I kind of, I, I hope I didn't go too fast. I actually kind of, I made one. I ended up making one. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't expect to, and I don't have any paint, but I had a, a few colored pens here. I'll, I'll show you. Colored pens? Uh -huh. <laughs> turn on your, turn on your okay, camera. Okay, I'm trying. I've never used Zoom before. I'm, I'm using <laughs> all this. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Okay, I see the start video button. Okay, I cannot start the video. Um, in the bottom, a little, yeah. I think it's in the bottom left. Oh, I just go. asked to start your video. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Hunter. I'm Shelby's boyfriend. I'm in, just in the next room. Um, <laughs> and here is my little uh, colored pen study. Oh, uh, wow. Pen. It's so colorful. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's so yeah, small yeah. as well. <laughs> I didn't yeah, know see, you were I didn't, didn't want to, you know just scratch a whole piece of paper with the pen. So it worked out well. Makes sense. Yeah, good job. I'm proud. Yeah.
the timing was great and the instruction was great. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> oh, go I down. can see myself <laughs> on your screen. <laughs> yep, yep, you're right there. Okay, well, bye, guys. Um, and I'll hang around in the chat. Okay, cool. <laughs> thanks, Hunter, for sharing. Absolutely. <laughs> Gwen said that she enjoyed, but she can't show because she's on the computer, so she doesn't have a camera. Oh, but, dang it. Yeah. But luckily, Rachel promised she would take a picture and post so we can see it. I was going to say, hopefully we can get a couple pictures posted oh. or something somewhere. I just had to paint red and blue. That's it. So. Oh, no. Wow. I love it, though. It's so lovely. Yeah. It's I very need to add tree, tr uh, tree trunks. Yeah, you just need the black and then it'd be perfect. <laughs> it takes on a watery effect. It's very cool. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you could probably mix your red and your blue together to create kind of like a darker purple color. And then oh, maybe yeah, you can I use did. that for the trunks. Oh, you did? <laughs> for the like the highlights. The light. Yeah, I can see that. Thank I you. I love it. Fun. Yes, I'm so yeah, glad you got to do it anyway. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Shelby oh, Gwen says you were a good teacher. Oh, wow. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe playing music, um, but maybe we'll do that next time. <laughs> maybe we can play a little piano music or something nice. <laughs> tell, us, tell us a little bit about what you normally do. Or show us. Okay. <laughs> Let's yes, see. I, I have all my paintings stacked up over here, so I could probably grab them. But I'm I'm in a much smaller space, so my paintings are usually really big, um, and they're usually made of oil paint. I said that earlier. So um, there's a a lot with oil paints. It's easier to blend colors. So there's a lot of detail that goes into my paintings. Um, each painting usually takes about twenty to thirty hours. Um, and recent, um, I usually make like still life food paintings or like still lives of other things, but it's usually food because you know, that's where my heart is. And, um, recently though, I've been kind of moving into like surreal stuff and like, um, landscape art and stuff like that. Um, but I can see here, maybe just a second. Um, actually, right after this class, I have a Zoom meeting with um, um, the Artist Coalition in Kansas City because this painting um, got accepted into their show and then COVID-19 came around and they were like, oh, we can't do the reception anymore, so we won't take your paintings, but we'll have an online reception um, with pictures of your work. Um, so. And this is the one that I have done for that. So let me see if I can show you guys. Let's see here. So this is my French toast painting. It's kind of big and sorry about the camera. This is my hand. So you can kind of see how big it is, um, but it is a very big painting and it's very detailed. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of what I usually do. And then um, recently I've been working on some other stuff. So I also have, this is one that I'm working on right now and it's got like a great white shark and it's really cool, but it's not finished yet. So don't tell anyone that you saw it because it's not quite finished yet. And then, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I usually work on. Um, and maybe we can work on something like that next time together. Like not that detailed because that takes a really long time and we would be on this Zoom meeting for a very long time. Um, but maybe we can do something like um, painting an apple or something together and that would be really fun but that's only if you want me to come back so it's up to you um but yeah that's all I have <laughs> I mean I have my other ones but they are really big and kind of 
in the way of stuff right now. So maybe next time, whenever I have everything out. When I don't put you on the spot and you yeah, have a plan. Yeah, you just brought this big, like, wooden thing here. You know, this whole, whatever all this is. We just pulled this out and um, it was actually for a loft bed uh, that I had um, my freshman year of college and it's just been in my basement and it's taken apart and we were like well that actually works pretty good as an easel <laughs> so we just pulled it out and so all of my paintings are just everywhere and on the floor and but it's fine it's fine right now. <laughs> Well, yeah. Shelby, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and thank you. I think that, yes, we'll do it again so I can paint with you. <laughs> yes, we will. Yeah, it'll be really fun. <laughs> I can't wait. That will be fun. Okay, so if you're still working on your um, painting, just feel free to continue to work on it. Make sure your mm -hmm. resident services director gets a picture of it. So that way she can post it on the Facebook page so Shelby can see your Yeah, I would love to well. see them. This is the first class or anything that I've ever done before. And I want oh. to be a professor probably someday. Okay. Um, so teaching painting is something that I want to do. So this is really exciting for me and I want to see what everyone did. Um, Very cool. Well, you did a great job teaching. Thank I think you. that maybe, I don't know, CC8264BT? might want to show you hold on oh okay really? you're you're off of mute ma'am <laughs> I can't see the lady that I see her light in the top of her head I don't know oh yes <laughs> ah, hi hi <laughs> Okay, just kidding. <laughs> She's like, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Run out um, of it. Oh. <laughs> oh, there she is. Hi, can you show us your painting? Hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> can I see your painting? I don't know how to do it. Oh. I don't know how to do it. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Can you just turn your cam, or is it your tablet or your computer? Yeah, iPad. iPad. Your iPad, just turn your iPad around. To like face the... To face oh, the painting. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's, they're so colorful. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks for, for doing it, it with us. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah, good, awesome. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. Anyone else want to show? All right. Well, that was really fun, Shelby. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, no problem, guys.